Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel, and I definitely thank you for swinging by and coming through to kick it with me. I go by the name Soul Blue Aries. I'm a film director and cinematographer. We're going to be doing some super simple things today, assembling the Sony A7S III, rigging it up, and setting it up to shoot. Before I continue, please do me a huge, huge favor and definitely click that bell and subscribe to the channel for me. I greatly appreciate that, so that way you'll always get to see my latest work and creations of content. I'm also giving a brief review of my mini follow focus that I bought from Small Rig. So with that being said, let's get to this build. <laughs> We're going to be building the Sony A7S III with the 24 to 70 millimeter G Master Sony lens. This is some awesome glass, by the way. Um, a primary glass, very pricey. Um, I think these these lenses probably are like around 16, $1,700 now because of the new GM2, or I think it's a GM2 um, 24 to 70 millimeter that came out. So that's why the prices may have recently dropped. Sony A7S III, battery pack, our mounts, our rails, monitor, mini follow focus, um, a bottom mount, and yeah, in the case. So I'm gonna remove our sensor cover. Sony's normally have E-mounts. It's normally an easy process when you're putting the lens on the body of a camera. You wanna find these, this little white dot right there. And there's also a white dot on the lens and so you want to line them up so you line them up white on white go white on white you're going to see you're going to feel it seat and then you're going to turn it clockwise until you hear a click uh, you locked in so now we good we got the glass on there the shooter is pretty much a simple you know we can go out and shoot some regular you know photos and maybe a little wild little freehand little short clip I'm gonna start with the top handle. We're gonna take our top handle. We got the monitor over here. Top handle on. You have it to where it's like secure. You don't need to be over torquing stuff with camera. This stuff is fragile. I'm gonna take my side handle. I'm gonna throw it on there. Okay, we're gonna tighten these down just a smidge. This is right here. All the pieces that will destroy you if you forget them on a, for a video shoot. Like the small bolts, like those things will keep you from filming these small items. Please make sure you do like an inventory check every time you get ready to go film or shoot. Field World 4K monitor. And we're gonna take the monitor and attach it up here. Tighten it down a little bit. Readjust that so it's nice and straight. Okay, we've got the monitor on there. I wish I was able to show y'all this HDMI import information is coming in from the camera. I don't have zip ties and cable clamps that which I need to invest in those items. They can get in the way. All right, so now we got all that in there. You know, I like to kind of have this stuff out of the way where it's not interfering with, you know, getting in front of the lens because we don't want to see that. Throw the hood on there because I might want to not have lens flare, which I like lens flare a lot, believe it or not. This is just for the purposes of showing you how to put it together, okay? So now we're gonna grab, this is the plate to put the battery pack on, which is this right here. This adds like so much life to the camera. I could film for years with this on the back of it. Anyway, I'm gonna take this piece right here, place it on the bottom of the camera. That back slot right there. I press that first stopper down and then I slide it over to secure it in place. It can't come out. You can't slide off these little stoppers on the side right there. And we want to make sure nothing's like on there. This little device right here is just how we can slide it back. This secures it onto the adapter. This right here allows me to fold this down, fold it back up, push it back up. And we're going to take our battery. We are going to put our battery on the mount. You see the V mount, line that up, place it in there while I match it. Make sure this is seated correctly. We got the bottom plate, it holds the 15 millimeter rods, which I use to attach the mini follow focus onto. Now the mini follow focus could also go on a rig, 
And I think I like this more because this leaves me more options to mount more things on the cage up here. Because once I put that follow focus up on here, it just takes up, for this particular layout for me, it just takes up a lot of space. And then I really don't have no place to put my audio receiver at as well. So this works for me. Put our plate on the bottom here. I need to see what's going on. So, all right, we're gonna get that right there like that. Put our rods in real quick. See, that looks nice and even. So now we got our bottom plate on with our 15 millimeter rods. Now we're gonna go into the next part and install in the mini follow focus. Yo, go ahead and put that right there. Mini follow focus, that is such a game changer when it comes to film. And one of my better investments as well, they make focusing easy, inefficient, ineffective. That's my take on it. You'll see that it came with some components to help mount it onto the cage up here. So we're gonna open this up. Okay. You see, these are the items that they uh, send with the follow focus to help mount it to this part of the cage. These little items right here. Appreciate that, but I won't be putting those to work not unless I have another layer, I get another cage. Okay, and here's our follow focus. So the cool thing about the follow focus, real quick, not to get off subject, is these little stoppers right here. You can set it to where, you know, when you're filming, you could just pretty much set a stop on what's in focus, what's not in focus. Pretty much, you know, help with your rack focusing and stuff like that. So super dope feature. I think they incorporated with this. I've used it on my camera and I love it. This has been awesome. I love building my camera up. Staying looks like a monster. Ah. Okay, put our mini follow focus on. Put it right there. Line it up. I don't have a prime lens, so I do use the little focus puller that they send you. Mine is already cut, as you see. I already cut it to the size of the circumference of my lens. Uh, you always want to kind of position this portion of it uh, to this side of the lens so you know it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to focus on something and now we'll be able to hook this up everything's very adjustable super adjustable easy to uh install go to work on Put this on there too nice and tight and uh there's our follow focus we're hooked up we're ready to focus if need be Mini follow focus installed. We need a battery for the monitor. We'll put our battery up there. There it is. We've got to plug in our mic. Put that in there. All right, we'll put our power into the camera. We've got power going to the camera. Um, and here it is, built Sony A7S III, just like that. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and kicking it with me, going through the build. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and I will have another video coming out right after this one. The new mini map box that I got in the new cage so again thanks for tuning in until next time i'm out